right, thank you so much, Gina. Let's talk about this weather now. We saw in Gina's live shot it was windy. Visibility was decent. I thought so too. But that was not the case most of the day. Oh, it was an absolute mess. And you've been getting some tweets, haven't yes, you? Yes, and people are stuck on the causeway right now, but not because of the fog. No, it's not because of the fog. In fact, here is a look, and I think the visibility looks pretty good right now. It's because there was a breakdown, but then that has been moved. So traffic should be flowing okay. Wait, let me show you this from David Moore. I think this is a gorgeous picture. It should be titled The Lady in the red coat, but it's morning fog. You can see St. Louis Cathedral off in the distance. So really pretty there. We do have the dense fog advisory in effect for the lake and along the coast. It's in effect until midnight, but the visibility is going to begin to improve. So we can look at what's happening now and what we have are low clouds. They're at 400 to 900 feet. We're not seeing rain. What we're seeing is mist and moderate mist has been reported in quite a few locations. No measurable rain was reported at Slidell, the lakefront, Lake Vista, or the airport, even though we had that mist pretty much all day. Now, yesterday, a tornado touched down. This was 321. It was near Dido. EF0, 75 mile per hour winds. It was on the ground for 4.3 miles, and it was 20 yards wide. So the National Weather Service did their survey today. We can look at the big picture. That cold front is offshore, and you probably noticed it was a lot cooler than it was yesterday when we set that record high of 81 degrees, but not that cold. So the colder air is still to the north. I've got to tell you, though, over the northern portion of Louisiana, we have temperatures in the mid 40s already, colder air way up here, and that's in Minnesota and Wisconsin. That's where it's frigid, and that colder air is going to be moving more to the east. Still, it's going to be chilling down here. So here's what's happening. High pressure is building in. The skies are going to begin to clear. We're going to have sunny skies tomorrow. It's going to be cooler in the morning, mid 40s to the upper 40s, and then your high temperatures tomorrow in the mid 50s. Now, the coldest air with the system is going to be Friday morning. That's when we're going to be in the upper 30s to the mid 40s for lows, but your high temperatures during the day climb into the low 70s because we're beginning to pick up that southerly flow. Then as you go into Saturday, look at what happens. We've got a strong southwest wind. High temperatures are going to be in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, depending on how much sunshine we get. But look at the cold front to the north. Okay, so that's moving our way. And it's going to move through, it looks like, during the morning on Sunday. So Sunday morning, rain, storms, and wind, and then it should get better in the afternoon. But I'm telling you, Monday is not looking pretty either. Cloudy, cold, windy for your Monday. High temperatures maybe around 50 degrees, and then cloudy, breezy, breezy, and chilly even for your Tuesday. But today we had a high of 67. That's above the average, but that high occurred just after midnight, and that was the case all across southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi. Just took a little time for that that cool air to move in. Right now we're upper 50s to near 60 degrees and we're a lot cooler than we were yesterday at this time. Look at the wind already beginning to increase and that's going to help us with the fog situation. So tomorrow I think a pretty nice day. High temperatures mid 50s. The sun comes out warmer during the day Friday but a cold start. Saturday we're in the upper 70s and then look at this. Sunday you've got rain and Monday not so pretty. I mean windy, cloudy with rain. Mm.